Hi everybody, it's Norma and I am doing a very quick video. I was not going to do a video on this haul. My intention was I just took a couple pictures. I was going to post them on my Facebook group, but I made an unsettling discovery today to quote um, Mr. Kevin, um, a very unsettling discovery. I went to um, the Snooty Mall and I really ever, ever go there because they just have these high-end luxury shops that I frankly just can't afford to shop at. So I just hardly, hardly ever go there. It's, you know, it's not, you know, near my house. Um, however, it is fairly near to where I work now because I work in a snooty neighborhood. Well, I did work in a snooty neighborhood. Um, I shouldn't say snooty, but a very upscale neighborhood. But my office is relocating me to a not so quite um, upscale neighborhood. I'm actually moving from you know an upscale walking district to a business district. And I have had, when I left my last job, my coworkers got together and got me a gift card for this very upscale snooty mall. And I just have never gotten around to going there, even though it's you know really close to where um, I was working, I just never made the time to go over there. And I didn't know what I would spend it on. Well, I discovered that there was an Henri Bindel store in that mall. So of course, once I discovered that, I knew where I was gonna be spending my gift card, but I still just never made it over there. Well, today was the day because um, Jacqueline in my group had actually gone to the store herself. She went yesterday, and I think she might have gone back again today to get a price adjustment. And I was like, well, today is my last day in this neighborhood. It would be really convenient if I would just go today after work instead of you know driving the distance on a weekend or something like that. And so in combination with it being my last day and with Henri Bendel having a one day only 30% off sale, that was like, that's it, I gotta go, today's the day. So I went and made an unsettling discovery, which I'm not very happy about. Um, so the main reason for me doing this video is to share the news with you. But first, I know you guys wanna see what I got, so I will show you. Um, it's really interesting because they had the one day sale 30% off. When I walked into the store, my sales associates didn't know about it, but they said, well, if you say that's what they're having, we'll match it. You know, we must have missed the announcement. And I was prepared to show them the email if they asked. Um, the other thing is, on the website, they have um, some select candles as part of their semi-annual clearance sale at 60% off. And they did not have any 60% off candles. Their candles were 50% off. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I should have said, oh, on the website, they're 60% off. I, I, I should have done that. I didn't even think. Because I made this unsettling discovery. And all brain cells just fled <laughs> my head. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, I need to stock up. So I actually bought a little bit more than I planned on. I mean, obviously, these are, you know, these are still Henri Bindel candles. They're not cheap, even on sale. So, you know, it's not a huge haul, but I was planning on just using my gift certificate to get a couple candles and then, you know, on my own dime, buy a couple more candles. So I was only going to buy four candles. Um, but I did a little bit more than that. So let me unpack the bags and show you what I got and then tell you what the news is. Okay, so here you guys have it. I end up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. Seven candles. Why I didn't make it an even eight, I don't know. I was panicking because I knew I was spending more money than I had planned on. That's my only excuse. And um, I end up getting three diffusers. Now, I have never tried the diffusers, but since I am relocating to a new office that is really tiny, tiny, small, um, I figured I deserved a treat since I'm going to be devoid of human companionship, basically. And I keep saying they're moving me to outer Siberia, which is not true. I mean, I'm in a busy business district, but I'm just going to be in a very small office compared to where I am now. So. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to be burning candles because it's, it's basically there's a lot of medical offices in the building 
and I don't know if people are going to be sensitive to the scents, but very few coworkers I have. So I figured a diffuser, I can still enjoy some scent and um, hopefully not offend anybody. So I, I end up getting vanilla bean. I do have the candle and I enjoy it. And basically vanilla bean, it's not a bakery scent at all. It's not a foodie scent. It's basically like a vanilla sandalwood scent with patchouli. Um, well, I think it has patchouli, I'm not sure. But anyway, I really, really love the scent. Um, so I figured this is, I got this diffuser because I figured it's kind of a basic, generic, probably inoffensive scent. And I was only gonna get this one until I made my unsettling discovery. And then I decided to get these two, um, cause these are in scents I like. I already have the candles and these were um, part of the 50% off, which I said, oh, now I wish I'd asked for the 60. But anyway, um, so I got Autumn Noir and Amber. And Amber, by the way, as you can see, I got three of the candles because the Amber candles were also in the 50% off um, shelf. Amber to me smells a lot like the perfume Opium by Yves de Saint Laurent. Yves, oh, I can't even say Yves Saint Laurent. Yves, Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my God. I'm just so upset I can't even talk straight. And I have worn Opium for years and years and years and years. I don't wear it too much now, um, but I used to wear it a lot. And it's still one of my very favorite perfumes. And Amber reminds me a lot of that perfume. It's just a deep, sensuous scent. It doesn't smell like your um, men, old man's aftershave amber. I think they should have named it something else. Um, but it has, you know, like it says amber, golden, sweet, and white, rich and sensual enhanced by jasmine and white rose. To me, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you actually look up the scent notes online and then compare it with the scent notes for opium, they do share a lot of similar notes. You know, it's not an exact dupe, but it's very similar. And then, of course, Velvet Oud. I've done a review on this. I love, 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 love the scent. And then these two are new to me. I specifically intended to pick up sandalwood. Um, my thought was I was going to get two sandalwoods and then I was going to see what they had on sale. I was looking for some of the three wicks. Um, they were completely sold out. They didn't have any. Um, so, you know, I was going to pick up a couple sandalwoods and then if they had any three wicks in like vanilla bean or gardenia, I was going to get some of those if they were on sale. And then, you know, velvet oud. I was debating about because I have some, but I figured, you know what, there's always time to get it. Well, there may not be time to get it, people. I'm telling you, that's why I'm doing this video. Stock up. Um, and then this one surprised me. I was not going to get this, but um, I mentioned that Jacqueline in my group had gone to White Barn, and she had um, just listed off a couple scents that she thought were really nice, and she mentioned white pepper. So um, at the... On Raven Dalsell, they store, they carry the entire line. And I've only bought these either online or at the White Barn. The White Barn does not carry the entire line, and they do not have these two scents. So I had never smelled them before. And I have to say, I picked up the white pepper, and I was really surprised. It's like, oh, I have to get this. Now, it says it's bergamot, ginger, rose, and lime, which I, I'm like, what is that? Like a citrusy, citrusy lemony, gingery, floral thing, and then woody oak and patchouli. will leave your home smelling heavenly, ohms the word. Well, you know what you, I pick up? I pick mostly that woody oak and patchouli. Um, it's a beautiful set. I was really surprised I liked it. Um, it. It's mostly that, and then I think that bergamot, it gives, it's just a, it's just a tiny, tiny hint of masculine cologne in there, but it's really tiny. I mean, I had to sniff it for a while before I could even really detect it. Um, I really liked it. I think if you like scents like vanilla bean, if you like scents like uh, Yankee Candles, like Sunset, which is also discontinued, if you like those patchouli-type blends, I think you would probably really like white pepper. 
Um, I'm really curious to burn that and see what comes out when you burn it. But on cold, I really liked it. In fact, I liked it more than the sandalwood, um, which, what does this one say? The subtle set of sandalwood is a warm, earthy blend of aromatic cypress cedar and cashmere musk. This clean, woodsy fragrance evokes a peaceful walk through a pristine forest of tall trees on a clear day. Okay, right, yeah, I don't think so. Um, this actually smelled a little bit light to me, so um, between the two, I think I actually preferred the white pepper, but, you know, that's based on quick cold sniff, so we'll see what actually happens when I burn them, um, but either way, I think I'm going to like both of them. Okay, so that's basically my haul. Um, now, so I had picked up this one and this one, the vanilla bean diffuser, and one amber. That's what I had had them holding. So one, two, three. I guess there was only three candles, and I had this vanilla bean diffuser. And then the unsettling discovery, the news that rocked my world. The essay told me that she believes they are discontinuing this entire line. At the end of my video, I did take some pictures of the candles. So you'll, you'll see all the candles that are on the line. You can go to the website and see them. She believes that they are going to discontinue the entire line. She had no information as to exactly when the candles may disappear. She didn't know if they were going to just disappear from the store and just be sold online. She didn't know if there was going to be some mega sale, you know, clearance sale to get rid of it. She didn't have any details. All she said was she believed that they were discontinuing the line and that they were going to focus on just some core scents. And she had mentioned, she said she thought it was 10. Um, but then she showed me a catalog and there were only eight sets. So I don't know if it's eight or 10. And I did take a quick picture and I wish I had been thinking straight and my brain cells had been working because um, they came out awful. Um, but I'll post them anyway. And I was able after, you know, several minutes of squinting and, you know, go, practically going blind, um, making out what the scents are. So basically, they're going to be a larger candle. Um, these are currently nine ounce. And I forget what the three wick candles are. I think the three wicks are maybe 24 ounce, 22, 24 ounce. I mean, they're similar to a large jar candle. Um, these, the signature candles at the nine ounce currently are $30 full price. The three wicks were 65 or are 65. The new line is gonna be a 14.5 ounce. So I think that's similar in size to a Bath and Body Works candle. I'm not exactly sure what size those are, but I think it's, it's similar in size, 14.5 um, ounce, and they're gonna have a price of $55. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I thought spending 30 was a lot, but $55, and it's gonna be just limited sets. So from what I could make out from the very blurred picture, I believe these are the scents. Jasmine bergamot, lavender cotton, vanilla sandalwood, neroli mandarin, amber cassis, lemon fig, eucalyptus sea salt, and saffron and suede. So I don't know if any of these are going to be repackages of some of the current scents out, like this vanilla sandalwood. I'm hoping maybe would be vanilla bean. Um, I don't see anything that sounds like it could be velvet oud. Um, amber cassis, could it be amber? I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my my unsettling discovery is that they may be doing away with this current lineup and I have several favorites. I just discovered this, um, you know, Henri Bedell candles in December. So it's just been barely eight months and I've already developed some favorites. You know, the Velvet Oud, the Vanilla Bean, the Amber, um, just 
a, a couple weeks ago, everybody was going crazy over the Victoria's Secret cashmere. Um, if you guys are interested in these candles, if you have your favorites among these scents, you might seriously want to consider start stocking up. The new line is supposed to preview in September. Like I said, I have no information as to what they're going to be doing um, with the current lineup. Are they going to just, you know, slowly phase them out, just get rid of them, have it be clearance? I don't know. But um, if there's something that you really like, my suggestion is you better start stocking up because that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.